These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. <clears throat> Alright, what's up everybody? Welcome to the December 2022 sort of year-end pod rankings. I've said it before, I'll say it again, as an ex-cigarette smoker, there's a lot about pods that appeal to me. I use pods a lot. I can't stress that enough. I use pods a lot. I use them until they're dead into the ground. I use them till the, till the battery is dead. I really like pods and I really like sort of uh, torture testing pods. I'm going to pull out every pod that's on my desk. We're just going to go through the routine. First thing first, uh, everything that's leaving, which is kind of, I think it's going to be a bunch of stuff. Yowza, that's a lot of pods. Do I even need to talk about disposables? The only disposables that I've had on my desk that I've even put in my mouth came from Geek Vape. They're the Geek Bar. They're not great. 50 milligram is too much for me, and salt nicotine doesn't hit me right. Everything's iced up these days, so this is strawberry banana ice. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy flavorful. Too much nicotine for me. I also have this gigantic purple, I believe this is a grapey ice sort of situation. It's just gigantic. I'm not endorsing these. This is just what I've tried recently. Something about salt nicotine just hits me in a way that I don't enjoy it. Now, on to this. What's leaving? Oh, small two. Of course the O small 2 is leaving, because it's the O small 2. It was never meant to stay on the desk. That UL World 2S, uh, I wasn't in love with this. The airflow remains very spongy. I will admit, I have not picked up this pod in probably three months, and sitting in its own liquid, there was not a gurgle to be found, nor any liquid anywhere, and I find that to be pretty impressive. Uh, but it is leaving the desk. Yeah, that Freemax Galax, Galax Nano, Galax and Galax Nano are both leaving the desk. Sorry, guys. We had a good ride, you well sculptor. You know, it, it was fun using you while you were here, but I think you're going to be leaving the desk. This pod is finally done, and I don't plan on re-upping on the sculptor pods. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Dead pod. Go away, bad dead pod. I also do want to say there is a Weenax K1, there is an A2S from UL, the Caliburn A2S, and there is a Vupu V through Vmate that are just on my desk that aren't included in the pod rankings. Those are Hall of Fame pods, and they kind of always remain on the desk. The G2K. Man, the G2K just sits in its pod, and it just gets gross. I believe this Caliburn is leaving the desk. Saying goodbye to the clips for sure. I mean, not necessarily for sure. This is something I would consider re-upping on pods if I had to travel. I traveled with this from Dubai to Germany and then back to the California United States, and it did awesome, and the cap came in really handy. So that's leaving the desk, but it doesn't mean I'm never going to use it again. Caliburn X, you are, whoa, leaving the desk. Without question. D didn't have a great time with the Caliburn X. Cravat! You know what? I'll be damned. The cravat's gonna actually stick around. The UL Scepter is going to be leaving the desk. It's a great mouth to lung. Don't get me wrong, but this battery just doesn't make any sense to me. It's just huge and heavy and not what I'm personally looking for in a pod, so that's gonna leave the desk. Well, we're getting down to the last few here. The Feelin' X isn't really a pod, but it's gonna stick around. I noticed uh, after we got past the three-week mark, the flavor sort of dropped pretty substantially on this. The pod itself is still going strong, though. I do keep Argus batteries on the pod, but lately my Argus pods have been spent time in this Argus, the P1, getting a review. The P1, not to spoil the review, will not be staying on the desk, but the Argus, with those same pods, will be staying on the desk. So here are the things that are staying on the desk before we rank anything. The cravat, yeah, and the Argus in the smaller form, as well as... That Crown D pod, though, this has been the surprise for me. This is what, this is honestly what the Caliburn X should have been. This does both a good mouth to lung and a good restricted lung. This is, I think this is nine milligram e-liquid in here right now. I've been treating it as a restricted lung, really just very enjoying it. Very nice. I think I'm going to keep this Lux XR around as well. Look, I I'm as surprised as you are. It's the Lux, and I didn't like the Lux, but the Lux XR 
has been shockingly good, good battery life. The flavor, it's still hanging in there. It's barely, but it's just hanging in there and I wanna keep it around. It's a good couch pod for me. I take this out in the living room. I can just lay on the couch. I don't generally have to worry about the battery life if I've just charged it. I don't have to worry about the capacity if I've just filled it. It's a good long lasting like couch lock pod. Here's the problem I'm running into with the Caliburn A3. Of course it's gonna stay on the desk and I wanna put it in the top five, but I'm keeping it out of the top five in a further protest for this particular pod device that I don't think needed to exist. All they did was make it incompatible with previous models and I feel like that's kind of a you well dick move. So as great as this vapes, and trust me, it vapes great. By protest, it's staying out of the top five. Not, uh, not, not leaving the desk though. Now, now we're getting down to like the top five, top five. As of this moment right now, I can be truthful with you, with you and tell you, I don't know exactly how this top five is going to shake out, but here are kind of the five remaining pods that I'm considering to be the, the, the top of the pods literally right now. Vapresso Cross 3. This is the Cross 3 Mini. I lost my Cross 3 full-size battery somewhere in California on a road trip, and I prefer the full-size battery, but I wanted the Cross 3 represented in the top five because I think the new pods are great, and I think the new full-size battery is great. The Mini's fine. I find the airflow to be a little bit too tight for me. Personally, that's it. Otherwise, uh, it's rock and roll. Geek Vape Sonder U. People have been leaving comments and questions uh, questioning this 1000 ma battery. They're saying, well, if this is a 1000 ma, why is a Caliburn still only, you know, 520? And the Sonder U, I believe it to be a 1000 ma battery. I haven't tested it or anything. I'm not DJ LSB Vapes. I don't have the equipment to do that. Just my anecdotal experience. I feel like this is a 1000 mAh battery and I feel like the Caliburn is a 520 mAh battery. It's lightweight for a 1000 mAh. Like I get the skepticism of it, but me anecdotally using it, it is a 1000 it feels like a 1000 mAh battery and damn it. The Sonder U pods just rule. They are crispy, crackly, flavorful. It's an open, open mouth to lung. It's my almost ideal open mouth to lung. With the exception of the Caliburn A2S, Sonder U is very my ideal open mouth to lung. Bupu Vinci SE. It's just a rad little banger. I I've been really satisfied with everything about this. I find the coil heads to be really consistent. I think I said earlier in other videos or other Vupu videos that there, there's two companies, Vupu and Vapresso, I think really upped their game with the mouth to lung pod, like the flavor, the longevity of it. These Vupu Vinci SE pods, very super nice. And come on, that's just a dope little form factor. It sometimes feels like a lighter in my pocket, which for some reason, I don't know, I find uh, comforting, like I said, as an ex-cigarette smoker. I do definitely want to re-up on these SE pods. This is a new-ish SE pod. It's only been going for about a week and a half. It, this is like in its peak performance, just crispy, beautiful, crackly, flavorful. Calmia. Can't get rid of the Calmia. This is just, in my opinion, probably one of the best of the year for me. It's lightweight, it's slick, it's slender. You can kind of handle it like you would a combustible cigarette. It's hands-free. It doesn't have amazing capacity or amazing battery life, but that tightened down mouth to lung, the flavor, Calmia, Calmia. I still get better airflow out of the gray Calmia than I do out of the green Calmia. And that is like a little bit of a wild card with the Calmia. And I think that's what's gonna keep the Calmia in maybe that like number five position. I just can't let it go, it's so good. Smock Novo 2X. The fucking Smock Novo 2X. I'm as surprised as you are, but even pulling this pod out of here right now, oh, I guess there's a tiny little bit of liquid. These have been staying clean and just vaping like champions. It's a crack to fill and it has an AFC on it. This could rank 
pretty highly, honestly. Smock Novo 2X. Didn't see this coming. And it's hands-free. This is an older pod, too, and that flavor is still banging. Still banging. Okay. I'm going to have to rank these. No, I don't want anybody to take this personally. This is the top of the top, in my opinion. This is the creme de la creme of pods right now as of December 2022. In the number five position, it's the UL Calmia. For all the reasons I've said and more, that's why it's in the number five position. In the number four position, it's the Vupu Vinci SE. Firmly, firmly in the number four position. Number three, it's the Vapresso. It's the Cross 3. The updated pods are great, and if this was the full size, it would be the full size. My next choice after that would probably be the Mini, but that's firmly in the number 3 position. In the number 2 position is the Smock Novo 2X, and in the number 1 position is the Geek Vape Sonder. This is just, uh, I think the Geek Vape Sonder and possibly the Novo 2X could end up in the Grim Green, you know, pod hall of fame over on grimgreen.com. It's just lightweight, pocketable. It comes in a rainbow of freaking colors. It vapes awesome, long, long lasting po coil heads. I will say though, after using all of these pods for, for a very long time, this Sonder U pod has gotten to feel a little bit thick in the mouth. Novo 2X feels much more comfortable to me. That's interesting. So it's a little bit of a mix up. It's not going to change the rankings. They are what they are. I'm sticking by them. I personally feel in my opinion after using <laughs> oh so many pods and just putting gallons of liquid through pods that uh, I'm confident in these December pod rankings. Thanks for the support over the years, going strong into 2023. Uh, Merry Christmas to you, whatever you celebrate. Merry everything and a, and a happy always to you. This has been a Grim Green video. Remember, stay smoke free every day. <coughs> it's like 10.30 and I'm uh, just gonna smoke, so 